All right, Shalom. Shalom. We're the brothers from Great Millstone, Atlanta. Here with another Godspeed uh, for the edification of the flock of Yahweh Shem Shai. But before we get started, as always, want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rakhadash. Like to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Also, want to say peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. Want to say Shalom to you, brothers. Um, and we're just going to get a quick lesson in, man, uh, bring forth some edification uh, on a current event, all right? Uh, this guy DMX, uh, if, if you're not familiar with DMX, I don't, you know, I don't know if you've been living under a rock or not, but, you know, DMX, a uh, multi-platinum selling artist, you know, uh, a real big drug user, you know, he's known for being, you know, an addict, you know, uh, whatever his drug of choice uh, was, probably multiple, you know, uh, word has come down that he's in a vegetable-like state. Now, he's in this state after a couple of months ago passing by a, a, a camp that teaches the truth, okay? It was a great millstone, but they teach according uh, to the doctrine, you know, with a little bit of schisms here and there. But for the most part, they're pushing Israel and teaching our people uh, that they are Israelites and, and condemning this world, you know. Now, DMX passed by the camp, just a little backdrop. DMX passed by the camp, he stayed and he listened for a minute, you know, but then returned to his wicked ways, all right? Now you see where it has gotten him, all right? Uh, uh, sitting up uh, in, in ICU, letting all these machines uh, uh, do all of this vital signs, uh, vitals for him, okay? All right? Now, if somebody tripped <laughs> over the plug, that's his ass, you know what I'm saying? All right? So uh, let's get that, um, Ezekiel, if you ain't have nothing. Oh, I get it. Matter of fact, I yeah. got something real quick. Go ahead, bro. Get this. And, and this is a, a message of repentance, all right? We're just using DMX as an example. You know, he's supposed to turn back from his wicked ways, man. Repent, you know, and do the things that he was doing no more, all right? But that shit went in one ear and not the other, you know, and see where it landed them. You got to go. This is Hebrews 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yeah, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. This guy has fallen in the hands of the living power, okay? And you see where he is. He's an, he's an example of what not to be, That's right. all right? He's an example for us to keep a healthy fear of the Lord, man, and not uh, shoe, his, shoe our hands at the Lord while he reaching out his hand and no man regard it. That's, That's right. essentially what he did. He stood and listened physically, but mentally and spiritually, he wasn't there. Because he would have uh, refrained from using those drugs that got his ass up in a, in a, um, in a coma or in a vegetable-like state right now. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. This is Ezekiel 18, verse 20. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Yeah, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. We're out here on the highways and the byways, and those brothers are as well. Uh, sh uh, lifting up our voices as a trumpet, showing our people their transgression. That's right. And we're doing that in order for them to recognize the problem, you know, them transgressing the law and sinning, and telling them that there's a, a power that they should be worshiping and to turn back from those wicked words, or they shall die. Like it says, I mean, let you get back, but like it says in Romans uh, 8, you know, those that are of the flesh do mind things of the flesh, all right? And to be carnally minded is death, all right? But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Now, had he went into that with a spiritual mindset and really reflected on himself I'm like, damn bro I really need to stop these drugs but that nigga so far gone and he stopped drugs at this point he was gonna die anyway you know what I'm saying uh, a guy that's fucking dependent on, on, on a substance for 30 plus years you know he, he's a lost cause but go ahead bro the son shall not shall not bear the iniquity of the father neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Keep going. Verse 21. But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he had committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. Had, he shall not die. Yeah. Hey, had DMX applied that Ezekiel 18 or what that was, 22? Mm, 21. 21? Yeah. He may have very well still be amongst us today, man, you know. But he didn't, because our people do if not consider, you know. 
Go ahead, bro. Cut. Verse 22. All his transgressions that he had committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him in his righteousness that he had done, he shall live. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? See, we don't take pleasure in the wicked dying. That's the right. Lord doesn't either. He rather you come to a, a place of repentance, you know, and turn back and do it no more. Yep. So a soul shall be saved, yep. you know. But if you rebel, you get where it's coming to you. Yep. you want to add yeah, something? and I just wanted to add, you know, the scripture going to it. To obey is better than sacrifice. So the Lord would rather that you do What's required of you, do what he told you to do, and live, man. Okay, but a lot of our people, they continue to do these things that's unpleasing to you. How about you have a shot? Just like them, that's, that's why he's in the condition that he's in, man. And I'll reach from the top again for you, huh? Yeah. This is Ezekiel 18, verse 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, saith the Lord, Yahweh, and not that he should return from his ways and live? Yeah, return back to his ways of righteousness and shall live, man. Because righteousness is within us as Israelites, man. It just has to be drawn out and brought out of us, you know, because wickedness is not our first thing to gravitate towards. That's Esau, Edom, you know. That's his, that's his plight, you know. We are a righteous and a holy people, so our spirits bear witness to that, and we would want to do the right things, you know. But, hey, we hard-headed and stiff-necked, man. And using this guy as just a prime example of the latest... A uh, celebrity ready to kick the fucking bucket. That's okay. And we're telling you how, well, we're telling you what you need to do in order to get right with the Lord, but this is how. All right, the brother's gonna grab this um, in Ephesians. All right, you have to set things in motion in order to repent and, and, and put away your evil ways. It just don't come overnight. That's you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Cutting, this is Ephesians 4. Verse 21, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in your house shot. Verse 22, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Yeah, put off the former conversation. Conversation goes into conduct. Mm -hmm. You know, DMX should have heard the word and, and, and changed this conduct. And the Lord would have uh, more than likely had mercy on him, man. You know, we don't know. But it's, order, it, it's better to try it the right way than to do it the wrong way. Because we already know what the judgment is for doing it the wrong way. You know, there's no options, you know. Go ahead, bro. Cunt. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Verse 24. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yeah. And, and, and that guy has been a, a addict for decades, man. Mm -hmm. You know. For a very long time. Uh, that's not going to come overnight, man. You know, you should pray to the Heavenly Father, you know, and His only begotten Son, which is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and, and let Him begin to work with you, man. You know, but you ain't going to be able to do it on your own, all right? But the renewing, starting to strip off little things that gradually leads up to bigger things, and you'll come out a better person, all right? Uh, a little some more on that? Uh, that's if, if, if not, you can go to the uh, yeah, Romans 12 Come. and uh, whatever you got after that. Come. This is Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which yeah. is your reasonable service. Yeah, that's a reasonable service. That's all right. Even though the immense more than likely wasn't going to come into the ministry, you know, but his body is a sacrifice, and you don't want to give sacrifice to the Lord fucking coked up, you know, or coked out, you know. So he should be cleansing his ways, man, and presenting his body as if it was a sacrifice until Yahweh buys you out of shot. That's what I'm bro. Cunt, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Yeah, going to get high at your fucking mind is not acceptable in the will of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, He wants you to do uh, uh, right by your temper. You know, He wants you to uh, 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 not put that poison in you, man. You know, He re He rather you do it uh, 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 the right way, man. But hey, guys have their own lot, man. You know, damn it, time to kick the bucket. It's time to kick the bucket. We ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. 
we doing what we supposed to do according to the Lord, to the best of our ability, mm -hmm. you know. The blood is off our hands as well. Because I'm pretty sure that wasn't the first time he heard about the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You know, those brothers got the blood off their hand too. All right? But well, it's on him that he, he he heard the trumpet and took not heed. You know? You got it, bro. This is Romans 12, verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, yeah. according as the, the Most High had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Yeah, that was pretty much the point. You know, uh, you got something? Yeah, I got you something. You got it. This is Second Chronicles 36, verse 15. And the Lord, God of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers. Who are the messengers? The prophets. Okay? And DMX, he's just an example of what not to be. You see that the Lord has his prophets out on the highways and byways warning his people getting the blood off their head. Okay? And there's going to be a lot more people that's like DMX. You know, that's going to be in the worst condition, man. So I read it again. This is 2 Chronicles 36, verse 15. And the Lord, God of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes, rising up early, and continue on and sinning because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. You know, so the Lord lifted up the prophets to come out and warn his people because the Lord has mercy upon the Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Just like the brother was just going into in Ezekiel, we know that the Lord doesn't take pleasure in the death of the wicked. The Lord is rather that you repent and do what's pleasing unto him, man. Okay, turn away from doing, you know, things that's contrary to the scriptures, man. Okay, and I'm going to continue on. This is 2 Chronicles 36, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High. Yeah, you know, you see that. You see a lot of our people making fun of the prophets, you know, speaking up against the prophets, doing things they shouldn't be doing, man. You see them coming on the comment board, you know, going on whatever website they want to go on, talking, basically, talking shit, so to speak, about the prophets, man. Okay? Yeah, um, if I can add to your point, yeah. too. He may, he may not have voiced the mocking of the prophets yeah. while he stood out there, right? but his actions showed, you know, mm -hmm. went back and, fuck what they were talking about. Get high as hell. Yeah. You know, fuck it. That's a form of mocking, man. Mm -hmm. You heard the word and you took not heed and did what the hell you wanted to do, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got it, bro. Kind. And despised his words. It's, and you see, and then Max, he clearly despised the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Because look at the condition that he's in, man. We didn't see him a week later, you know, bringing out the scriptures, you know, doing things that's pleasing to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. No, he was repeatedly being a nigga, man. Okay, when you go into the online etymology of the spies, it goes to look down upon, man. And a lot of our people look down upon the words that, upon the words, law, statutes, and commandments to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, which is going to lead to death pursuant to Proverbs 13 and 13. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. And misused his prophets. And we see that, man. He clearly misused the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, we don't know, you know, if they are the true men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, but we know that this word is out, starting with our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. They've been laboring this truth, starting with our apostles to heart on down over 30 years, man. So we know, man, this word is out, man. Okay, and we know who those guys got the doctrine from, man. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. Until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. That's right. So ultimately, you're going to get destroyed, man. Okay, and DMX, the condition that he's in, is just an example, man, of what not to be, man. So you hear this word, receive it, man. Do what's pleased to you. How about you? Don't put the Lord off from day to day, or you could be in the worst condition in DMX, man. That's right. Hey, perfectly said, you know, and Lord willing, you know, this, this was edifying, you know, to a brother that made you know, uh, run across this video, right. but don't necessarily uh, believe wholeheartedly or, you know, want to begin to take the steps in order to get right. And right. use DMX as an example, man. Mm -hmm. Don't just watch this video and turn it off and go fire up. You right. know what I'm saying? Because right. that could be very well your last uh, hit. You know what I'm saying? That's right. All right. So, Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all, we would like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Chakudash, and also double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom.